Hey, what's up? This is Leandro Bigetti from littlealchemist.io and today we're going to talk about how to read a file in Elixir and while at it we're going to learn a little bit about tuples and atoms, two very important data types in Elixir. All right, so you're watching the From Zero to Hero in Elixir series that I'm making. In the previous video, we talked about IEX data types, the, the basic ones like float, integer, strings, and lists. And today we're going to talk a little bit about tuples and atoms and how to read a file in an Elixir. So let's start with atoms. Atoms are like symbols you can think of the you can think of them as symbols that have the value of their own name right so if you have an atom that is okay then it's gonna have the value of okay also in elixir it's identified by the column value right so if we come here to our friendly neighbor ix my cat is pooping and he can't cover his own poop it's it's pretty amazing. So <laughs> hopefully he'll work it out. All right. So if we come here to IEX um, and we type in column OK, like I said, then you have OK, right? You can just name this whatever you want, whatever I want, right? You cannot have spaces unless you make it quoted like quoted or uh, atom right but this is not very common it's usually just one word okay and error um are two very common ones so this is this is basically what it is right it's a symbol that has a value of of its own name so if you come here to i and put in okay you're gonna see that it's in the data type is atoms right all right, cool. So let's move on to tuples. So tuples, they're kind of like lists and they can hold anything and they are identified by the curly braces. So if we do something like um, one, two, uh, stuff, my cats are going insane. Then this is a tuple, right? I can, of course, assign uh, to a variable and uh, stuff. And then you can go into I and you'll see that it's a tuple, right? Cool. So um, a way that it's a lot <laughs> very much used in Elixir is to have a tuple with the first element as an atom, kind of like the status of, of something, right? The first time I saw this was in a video by Jose Valin, the creator of Elixir. He was doing a video in a plural site and, and he's he showed that a, a function returned a tuple that had an atom in the first value, right? And then you had the result in the second value, something like this, right? You had like, Okay, the function went okay, and the value that you actually want is 152. So it's kind of nice, right? Because then you can see, you can get kind of see what the result of the thing is, and then um, get the actual result. So a very good example of this is um, in the Elixir website for uh, the explanation of tuples, and we're gonna use that. We're gonna come here to our friendly neighbor, also at some. We're gonna, just gonna type in a file, right? And we're going to read it from the IEX. So this is my text file. Super awesome, right? And we're just going to come here and save this to my wherever this is. Let's just go to desktop, um, my file. OK, so how do we do this in Elixir? Very simple. There is a module, and we're going to talk about modules and function more before, uh, after. <laughs> In the next videos, we're going to talk about this, but we're going to come to the Elixir uh, file module, and there's a function called read, and we're going to pass in this um, path that is here, right? So users, uh, Leandro, desktop, my file. All right. <laughs> Had some trouble here typing in the path, but this is basically what it is. This is gonna read the file if the file exists, right? So if everything goes well, 
then you see this is my file. I actually have a line break here, which is the, the thing and here. Uh, but well, basically this is what it is, right? It's okay. So it's telling you, okay, your operation went well and here is the result, right? And um, if we don't, let, let's fuck up the file name here now. Bad, right? This doesn't exist. So what we get is something else, right? We get an error in the first um, element now and enoent, which is like the Unix code for the file doesn't exist or some shit like that. I don't really know. So this is uh, usually how uh, it's used in Elixir, uh, the tuple. And, and this is what an atom is also. And this is how you read a file in Elixir. Um, very, very straightforward. All right, one last thing you should know about tuples is that in Elixir, um, even though sometimes we use Boolean, we don't have a Boolean type per se because true and false in Elixir are actually tuples. So if we come here to the terminal and we make a atom that is named true equal true, the Boolean, right? That's going to return true. So let's assign uh, a with the value true and we come into IEX and we um, check in a you'll see that the term true is actually the data type atom. So this is a good thing to keep in mind um, going forward. Of course, false is the same, right? And if you go to I false, then the same thing happens. All right, that's it for today. Um, be sure to check out below. I have a mailing list with a one weekly mail no span with the up latest updates in Little Alchemist. And <sighs> If you like this video, don't forget to like the, the video here, down here, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And until next time, take care and happy brewing.